Lesson 23, Applications of De Marlborough's Theorem, number 4. In part 1, we have to expand cos theta plus i sine theta to the power of 3, uh, using Pascal's result of the, the old 1, 3, 3, 1. We get cos cubed theta plus 3 cos squared theta i sine theta plus 3 cos theta i sine theta squared plus i sine theta cubed. Now this becomes cos cubed theta plus 3 i cos squared theta sine theta minus 3 cos theta sine squared theta minus i sine cubed theta. Now regrouping <coughs> this into the real and imaginary parts, we get cos cubed theta minus 3 cos theta sine squared theta, that real bit, plus i 3 cos squared theta sine theta minus sine cubed theta. Now in part 2, using part 1, that is, cos theta plus i sine q, theta or cube is equal to this result, right? and the marvellous theorem, prove that sine 3 theta equals 3 sine theta minus 4 sine cube theta. Now from de Marva, we know that, that the cos, cos theta plus i sine theta cubed is equal to the cos of 3 theta plus i sine 3 theta. So what remains now is we equate to get what sine um, 3 theta is, we'll equate the imaginary parts. So we've got this part here and this part here. So we can say sine 3 theta is equal to 3 cos squared theta sine theta minus sine cube theta. But you notice there's no cos in this one, so we'll use the Pythagorean result and rewrite that as that's 3 sine theta outside of 1 minus sine squared theta minus sine cubed theta, and that equals 3 sine theta minus 3 sine cubed theta minus sine cubed theta, and this gives the result 3 sine theta minus 4 sine cubed theta. Now in part 3, find a similar expression for cos 3 theta. And we have that cos theta was i sine uh, theta or cube equals this result. So we know from de Marvra that cos theta plus i sine theta or cubed equals cos 3 theta plus i sine 3 theta. So this time, we'll just select this part here, that real part, and equate to this real part here. There we go. So now we can say that the cos of 3 theta equals cos cubed theta minus 3 cos theta sine squared theta. And this time, what we'll do is we'll replace the sine squared theta 
by 1 minus cos squared theta. And we get cos cubed theta minus 3 cos theta plus 3 cos cubed theta. And this gives the result 4 cos cubed theta minus 3 cos theta.